Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. I hope you're having a great Tuesday so far. Now, the last time that we met, uh, I told you that I was going to be sharing with you some more tips that had to do with Zooming. I'm going to help you be as efficient at Zooming as possible, right? That always sounds like a good thing because, let's face it, we Zoom all day long. All right, so let's take a look at the first system variable called Zoom Factor. Now, before I dive into it, let's take a look at the screen. Um, I am using my mouse wheel to zoom out. I'm using it to zoom in. And did you know that you have control over how fast it does that? You have control over how fast that zoom wheel zooms in or zooms out. That's with zoom factor. Let's take a look at that. All right, so defaults to 60, incidentally. And the higher the value, the faster your mouse wheel will zoom. The lower, the slower. All right, so example, let me set it to 10, which is pretty slow. Now watch as I move my mouse. I know you can't really see it. You just have to believe um, each little notch of my wheel, pretty, 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 pretty slow. Too slow for me, if you ask me. Um, let's go back into zoom factor. And uh, I like it to actually set it higher than 60. How high can you set it? I'm going to share with you another little tip. <laughs> I don't always know what the, the high values are, the low values, or any of the valid values uh, for that matter. When it, so I actually have found that if you just irritate the command by typing in a value that, of course, you know is not going to work. Like, for example, how about the letter T? We know that's not a number. It's going to get mad at me. But when I hit that T, it will come back and tell me what the val valid options are. And you can see that I need to have an integer between 3 and 100, right? Thank you for sharing with me. I find that's much easier and faster than going into help. So 3, very, very slow. 100, very, very fast. And I, I actually like it somewhere around 80. So now as I move my mouse, you can see I go pretty darn fast. But that's completely up to you. You're going to set it the way that you feel the most comfortable. But, but you know, work with it a little bit until you get it exactly right, okay? All right, another, another system variable is called zoom wheel. So before we dive into that, once again, if I move my mouse wheel forward, we know that it zooms in, right? You're zooming towards the drawing. If I pull it back, I'm zooming away. That's the way it's been since the beginning of time. Well, since you could zoom in or out with the mouse, right, inside of AutoCAD. But did you know that some of our, some other products out there in the world, for example, Autodesk Inventor, zooms the com complete opposite? Did you know that? So that can be very, very confusing, right, as you can imagine. So I would say that if you're using another product that zooms the opposite, that you should sync them up. So there's a system variable called zoom wheel that was put in just for this particular reason. And if you set it to one, it, it zooms the opposite of what we're used to. Now I'm moving my mouse wheel forward, and you'll see that as I move it forward, it's actually pushing the drawing away. As I move it towards me, it's pulling the drawing towards me, so it's the opposite, which can drive you crazy. Um, as for me, I can't break old habits. I have to use it the old way, but I have to admit this would be kind of a fun way to torture your coworkers. <laughs> Just as a joke, okay, not really to be mean, but as a joke, you could walk by their desk, set zoom wheel to one, and then walk away, and I'm sure that uh, they would probably go crazy. You'd have to promise that you'd rescue them, though, because it could be very irritating. So zoom wheel to one, but you didn't hear that from me. All right, so last but not least, I'm going to share with you something that's uh, pretty crazy. Did you know that if you hold down the control key and you hold down the wheel mouse as you move your cursor around, did you know, woo, Remember the old Asteroids game? Did I just date myself there? But uh, this is like a free form zoom to go where you need to go very fast, very efficient if you can master it. It's a little tricky. It's easy to lose your drawing. <laughs> Here it goes. Double click on the mouse to bring it back. It's easy to lose it. It's kind of like a joystick. Uh, very fast, very efficient. You just have to really practice. Once again, that's holding the control key down and the middle button. Woohoo! Fun, fun, fun. I have to admit it's kind of fun. In a large drawing, this actually comes in handy, believe it or not. All right, so there's three tips for you on this Tuesday, not just one. And I hope that out of all of the tips that I shared with you on Zooming, both last time and this time, that you found one that's going to help you be more efficient and help you get your jobs done faster. So I hope to see you back here in two more weeks, okay? Promise? All right, I'll see you next time. Take care.